morning, or depending when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always, told out of voice the radio. So today, we need to do that thing we do when a new set comes out. And I need to tell you to stop buying singles for Paradox Rift. And here's the thing about Paradox Rift that makes things a little bit more awkward. We have just had our pre-releases for Paradox Rift. The cards are in hand. We have Paradox Rift. Now, you can't go and buy anything you want because the set isn't actually out until next Friday, November the 3rd, but we've had our pre-releases for Paradox Rift. The set is not out in Japan. And usually what we do is we look at the price of the cards in Japan and we use this for our pre-release prices and everybody massively overpays and I tell you to stop. Well, people are still massively overpaying. And I'm still telling you to stop. But I'm also saying, even more than normal, even compared to what I normally tell you, stop buying singles for Paradox Rift. Because I'm telling you right now, ladies and gentlemen, we don't have the context. We don't know what we're talking about. We don't know what we're doing. Because we don't have the cards being released in Japan to guide us. And what that means is a bunch of people are massively overpaying for these cards, and that is not a good thing. Oh, sorry, what's that? You want some examples? I got ya. So let's start off with Roaring Moon, one of the coolest cards in the set. And what we've got here for Roaring Moon is a just phenomenal, phenomenal card. It looks absolutely beautiful. No argument there. Adore this card. And it's a pretty playable card. Free energy, instant KO on anything, yes. I mean, you've got to take 200 damage, but there's ways to heal back up again. There's some jelly you can use. But also, it's an instant KO on anything. I think you'll be all right, ladies and gentlemen. I think you'll be all right. Or you can go a bit more traditional and go free energy, 220, if there's a stadium in play, and you're willing to discard it. It's a great card, all right? No argument there, ladies and gentlemen. Great card. And it's one of my favorite artworks in the entire set. I think it's beautiful. Huge fan. Yeah, the first couple of sales for this were like 125 bucks. Well, actually, a little bit more than 125 bucks. That's absurd. That is absolutely absurd. And I can prove it to you. It isn't one of those situations where I'm just kind of, you know, saying, I think that's too much. No, mate, I can actually prove it to you because we can look at some other special illustration rare cards of beautiful, super playable cards. Let's talk about Chen Pao. Chen Pao is great. Chen Pao is a very good deck to seeing a bunch of play at the moment. The illustration rare is phenomenal. Yeah, the Special Illustration Rare is like a sub-$30 card. Started life as an $85 card over on TCG Player. It is now sitting there under $30. We think Roaring Moon is going to be playable. We know that Chen Pao is playable. Chen Pao just top 8 in Lille this past weekend. So, yeah. It is 100% definitely playable. You can argue about whether you think Chen Pao is the best deck in the format. It's probably not. But you can argue about that all you like. There is no argument as to whether it is good or not. It is definitely good. It's a $30 card. Less than. It is a less than $30 card. And sure, you can sit there and say, I think Roaring Moon's a better card. And it might well be. And you can sit there and say, yeah, I think Roaring Moon's got much better artwork. And for what it's worth, I would agree with you. Shouldn't be more than four times the price. Definitely shouldn't. How about Gardevoir? We know that Gardevoir is a phenomenal card. Absolutely no, for an undisputed fact, it is a phenomenal card. It has been just winning and topping all over the place. The card is amazing. It's a $20 card. Okay, fine, it's a little bit... No, to be fair, one of the last three sales was $20. I'm calling it a $20 card. Sure, it started life as a $120 card. It's now a $20 card. And Gardevoir is a very popular Pokemon. An extremely popular Pokemon. Does anybody really think that Roaring Moon is 
a more popular Pokemon and a more playable card than Gardevoir. Again, you can argue the artwork if you like, and I'm not going to argue against you. It's a phenomenal looking card. But as the best no, no, ladies and gentlemen, absolutely ridiculous. And if you're thinking that this is an aberration, that the other ones aren't going to do this, ha, of course they are, ladies and gentlemen, of course they are. Iron Valiant, now I got to reveal Iron Valiant, and I was delighted about that. I got the official reveal of the English Iron Valiant, it's amazing, and I think the artwork is stunning. And I think the card is really good. It's got that ability to drop two damage counters when it goes into the active. I like everything about this card. I was delighted to have the reveal. I thought I was a very lucky boy that Pokemon were, were nice enough to give me the reveal. First couple of solds, $115. $115. That's ridiculous, ladies and gentlemen. And the thing is, people are actually paying this. This is not some kind of hypothetical price. No, people are actually paying this for these cards. It's absolutely ridiculous. I just showed you a couple of examples of definitely really good playable cards that are definitely good that were $30 or less. And we're expected to be paying over $100 for these cards? I should actually, while we're here, I should give you the, the warning I usually give you. And that is, this is friendly advice on your old pal Wossy, right? If you want to go and buy these cards early, go buy these cards early. If you want to be the first one to grade them, if you want to have them in your deck and you don't mind overpaying, if you just want them early and you don't want to explain yourself to anyone, this is absolutely fine. No argument at all. All I'm saying is, they are way too expensive now and they are going to fall in price. And if you're happy to buy knowing that it's way too expensive and they're going to fall in price, cool. Absolutely fine by me. This is just friendly advice and your old pal Wossy. I mean, we can play, we keep playing this game all day long if you want. How about Maridon? Maridon, another card. Proven to be a good deck. Seeing a huge amount of play. Seeing a bunch of success. It's Maraid on a box legendary. Box legendaries are always very impressive and very popular. It actually on release shot up to a $130 card. It's now a sub $20 card. These special illustration rares in these English sets post Scarlet and Violet are not keeping value. Because if they were keeping value, it would be cards like Gardevoir and Maridon and Chen Pao. Really good playable cards with stunning artworks. And to be fair, you're talking Legendaries and Gardevoir. These are very popular Pokemon. These are the ones that if any were going to keep their value and be super expensive, it would be these. And they're not. And if these can't hold their value then sure, Iron Valiant and Roaring Moon could end up being among the most valuable of the Special Illustration Rares. They could be top-tier Special Illustration Rares in terms of value. And that would not surprise me at all. But I'm telling you this right now, ladies and gentlemen, if they are top-tier in terms of Special Illustration Rares, they're going to be $30 cards. Like, what should be the exception is Charizard. Which is actually, for the first time in a while, like, legit playable. The Charizard is genuinely playable. And it's a Charizard. And for what it's worth, amazing Akira Igawa artwork. It's like a $50, $60 card. The couple $50 were lightly played. So let's call it a $60 card. That's half of what people are paying for, like, Roaring Moon. And when we've got an actual playable Charizard... With this artwork as a special illustration rare that's not breaking 60 bucks right now, there is absolutely no way you should be paying 120 for anything. I mean, in terms of supporter cards in Paradox Rift, I, I think probably the best artwork-wise is Parasol Lady. Hopefully you've watched my openings by now. I've done two openings of Paradox Rift, a booster box and an elite trainer box. Uh, check them out in the comment section or the description if you haven't. They were a lot of fun. Shout out to Pokemon for sending them. Parasol Lady artwork is ridiculous. A special illustration rare of Parasol Lady. It looks good on the screen. I assure you, ladies and gentlemen, 
you need to see this in person. It is absurd how beautiful this card is. And actually, for this video, I went and took a photograph of my parasol lady because we don't have a scan of it. And I'm like, I pulled this card. Here's a photo of my parasol lady. It's so good. It's not a $75 card, though. Again, I use this example a lot. Iono. Iono is a massive exception. Because generally speaking, supporter cards do not hold their value. You'll notice that Iono has. Now, to be fair, it's dropped from 175 down to about a $90 card. But it's holding at $90, which is very rare for supporter cards. They just don't hit up to this value. But there's a reason for Iono doing that. And that is, firstly, Iono is a very popular character. And secondly, Iono is an absolute staple in basically every deck. And when you mash the two of those things together, you end up with a ridiculously expensive card. It is very much the exception. And it's a $90 card. And I cannot stress enough, this is a massive exception. Generally speaking, these cards do not do this. And that's a $90 card. Parasol Lady's fine. You know, turn one going second, it's a shuffle draw eight. That's really good. Otherwise, it's a shuffle draw four and it's it's just not as good. And, you know, going away from that, we could have a look at Professor Sada's Vitality, for instance. The first two sold to the special illustration rare of that were like $150. That's ridiculous. Okay, fine. They were best off for accepting. It would have sold for a little bit less. But still, bearing in mind, Iono, I showed you, is the massive exception. And that was sitting at $90. And this is being entertained at that kind of price. You know, we've got solds and verified solds, you know, higher than Iono's going for at the moment. It's just absurd, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely absurd. And the thing is, we, we've already seen this before. Like, if we go and have a look at Professor Sada from Scarlet and Violet, for instance. You know, I know it was a full art, not a special illustration. Rare, I get it. It's like a $6 card. Literally a $6 card. And that's, okay, it, it's, it's weird. It's Professor's Research, so it's very playable. But there are a bunch of other versions of the card. So I kind of understand why it's not always going to grow up that much. But then again, Professor Sada's Vitality, good card. Accelerates energy to ancient Pokemon and all of that. I get it. But really? Nah, ladies and gentlemen. That's way too much. The reality is most of these special illustration rares are going to sit down like 30 bucks. At the most. And people are paying ridiculous prices right now. And look, as I tell you every time, if you want to go and buy these early, I don't, it doesn't matter what your reasons are. If you want to buy them early, go buy them early. This is friendly advice and your old pal Wossy just letting you know that paying them now means you're paying way more than you need to. For now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to know what you think about this. I want to know if you picked up any singles. I want to know if you're planning to pick up any singles. I want to know anything you want to tell me. So let me know in the comment section. Got us. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk Pokemon, card games, Pokemon, card games, all kinds of fun things. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, and all kinds of fun things. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.